be patient in this game as well. It's not all about attack. Good shot there from the Irish forward. Ball fizzing past that goal post for a goal kick. The attack starts again. The ball going out now for a goal kick. Iran again on the attack. Strong hit clearance from the goalkeeper. Iran was on the attack at that time. The defense in a bit of a fluster. And the goalkeeper kicks the ball out. Iran back on the attack now. They've been the more aggressive of the two sides. Oves takes a shot. A defender in the way. Still on the attack. Brilliant, brilliant goal there by Iran. The defender in the way. Still on the attack. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Finds the back of the net. Hit really, really hard by number three, Mustafa. Iran Rafsanjan 1, Ireland Synergy 0. In the first seven minutes of the game, we now have a goal and that ball was hit very, very hard by the Iranian striker, number three, Mustafa. And now, can Ireland find a reply? Again, the left foot of Mustafa, this time a bit wide. He didn't get a clean shot on goal. Kicks the ball very, very hard. Mustafa with that strong left foot. He just walked in as a substitute in the last six minutes. He didn't start the game. That was a very good tactical change by Ireland, by Iran. And now Ireland trying to build something here from the back. Coming in from the right. Number six, Sankey, new player in. Eon, the goalkeeper, being tested again and again, even by his own players. Number seven now, Chiran. Kicks the ball out of bounds. That will be a short free kick. Iran, Rafsanjan, one. Ireland, Synergy, zero. We are in the knockouts now, so Ireland has to find a reply and find one quickly. Number four, Hussein. Being put to the test by the defenders, he wins the corner for his team. We're here at the La Liga Academy in Dubai Sports City. You can see that sign in the back, Dubai, the hub of all the activities here in the region. Short pass taken, number four, Hussain. Hits it high and outside. That's a goal kick. Niall and Eon trying to start something from the back. Again, Mustafa, good pass there. Number four, Hussein couldn't get that ball under control and he sends it back to Subhan and they'll try to start the attack again. Iran playing really well at the moment. Jabbar now cutting through, going all the way. Can he score an individual goal? The ball is still with the Iranians. Number four, again, he tries. Very, very unlucky there not to have scored the goal. Jabbar running all the way from his goal post to the Irish end but unfortunate not to have finished it off with what which 
would have been a spectacular individual goal. 10 minutes played. We've played the first 10 minutes of the game. Iran Rafsanjan very much on top. One goal to the good against Ireland Synergy. Number 19 now in the field. Hassan is very quick on his feet. Very quick on the flanks as well. Hassan is that a great tournament so far. Scored some crucial goals yesterday for Iran Rafsanjan. And now Ireland trying to build something here. Very good tackle. Very good tackle there by Jaber. Jaber has been very good in the defense. He's staying back. Quick substitution taking place now. 18. Masood comes in. Number 5. Jaber. The rock right at the back. Very good defensively. Masood and Hassan. 18 and 19 up top now. Number 10, Raza. And number 5, Jabber at the back, playing on the defensive role. Trying to run down this clock. Ireland has to build something here. The ball still in the Iranian half, but they have not crossed the halfway line so far. Not tested. Subhan only once. And they go back again, trying to build something. The referee blows his whistle. There's a quick change now by the Irish. Running substitution taking place. Now after the substitution, the ball back with the goalkeeper in the start again. Ireland Synergy have to find an answer. They're one goal down. 18 minutes played already. 12 minutes played already, I beg your pardon. 18 left on the clock. The ball goes out for a corner. Ireland has a very limited squad, unlike the other teams who've got 10 or 11 players. Ireland only has eight, very limited in their substitutions as well. But that shows how supremely fit they are as a team. These are all corporate employees playing for their companies but representing their countries here in the World Corporate Championship. And with that, a brilliant goal there by number representing their countries here in the World Corporate Championship. And with that, a brilliant goal there. Gets a shot on target, on goal and buries that into the back of the net. It's now 1-1. Ireland Synergy 1, Iran Rafsanjan 1. And this knockout game is very much alive. After a false start, Iran will have a go again. They've conceded a goal against the run of play. Very much the top team at the moment. But Ireland building something. And eventually getting that goal. Number 9, Stephen. Strong right-footed shot. And he beats Subhan. Not the easiest thing to do, beating Subhan, the goalkeeper of Iran. Defensive error there, almost giving the ball back to Ireland. That's the man there, number nine, Stephen. Got a strong right-footed shot in. Beating the diving Subhan, number 33, their goalkeeper, who's had a fantastic tournament so far. Ireland starts again now, ball with Neil. The goalkeeper, Eon, sorry, beg your pardon, the goalkeeper of Ireland. Foul given against the Iranians. The Irish will start again. Direct kick attempted but hits the defender. And they start number 11, Oves. Quick feed, very quick, Oves. Takes a shot. Brilliant goalkeeping there by Owen, number one. Feed, very quick, Oves. Takes a shot. Brilliant goalkeeping there by... But straight at him, and he's done well to catch it as well. The 
the Irish now feeling the heat. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here in Dubai. I'm sure the Irish are not used to playing in this heat and humidity. Dead ball and they start again. This is their second game in the morning. They played a lot of games yesterday as well during the daytime. Number nine, Stephen, trying to get that ball into play. And now the ba ball back with the Iranians. It's that man, that man there. Number four, Hussein trying a left footed shot. And he wins a corner for Iran. Again, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper now taking a shot. Number seven, Farhad, but not testing the goalkeeper. The ball goes out for a quick free kick as well. And a quick substitution taking place for Iran. And number 10, Raza walks out. Number five, Jabber, still at the back. And with that, we've finished the first half of this semi-final game between Iran Rafsanjan and Ireland Sinigi. The score, 1-1. One, one. It's been an amazing game of football so far. And we'll be back after the short break for the second half.
Welcome back to the second half of the semi-final game between Ireland and Iran. Iran number seven, Farhas, starting the game quickly. Iran scored the first goal, then the Irish pulled one back to equalize. The score is now 1-1, this knockout game. In the second half, number 11, Owais on the pitch. Number 5, defensive player Jaber for Iran as well. Number 7, Farhad. And the goalkeeper, number 33, Subhan. The other side there. Oin, the goalkeeper for Ireland. Number 1. Number 8, Gav, their captain. Number 9, the goal scorer, Stephen. And number seven, Chiran. Very cagey start so far between these two teams. They had good opportunities to score more than one goal. Number 18, Paul, on the field as well for Ireland at the moment. Again, starting from the back. Number eight, Gav, with that white bandana. Trying to build something here now, Ireland. They've been very patient with their approach. Keep the ball right at the back. Trying to find an opening. This, I, this Iran defense, especially with their number five job right at the back, been fantastic. On cue, we see number five, Jabber stopping that play. Iran, the defending champions of this World Corporate Champions Cup. Good opportunity there for number seven, Chirin, but he is unable to get that ball under control. Subhan taking a quick throw. Iran looking for some space. The number 10, Niall, runs that ball down to the goalkeeper for a goal kick. Or a goal throw in this case. On the attack now, Irish takes a shot, hits the defender. Very strong tackle there by number 11, Uves. Strong tackle, number 11 on number 11. They get a free kick in on. Starting now from left to right. Almost, almost finding Oves. And now Iran losing the ball. The Irish with the ball at their feet, trying to build something from the back again. A through pass, but straight to the goalkeeper. Beautiful, beautiful football there. Excellent pass. And again, good tackle on number four, Hussein, stopping him from getting a shot in. The Irish goalkeeper putting his body on the line. Score still 1 1 with 11 minutes to play. Could be anyone's game. Both teams fighting it out now. Beautiful back flick. And almost gets a shot through number five, Jabber. The ball has gone out of bounds. That would be a goal kick quickly taken. Building again from the back, the Irish. Number 11, Homaldini. Ball goes out for a quick free kick. Now with Iran. Subhan plays the ball to the left back. Brilliant football there. Good footwork. Number three now. Mustafa charging. He is the goal scorer for Iran. Strong left foot. 
on him. The Irish now feeling the heat. They've got the last 10 minutes to go in this game. Mustafa getting a corner for his team. Interesting, he takes a corner with the right foot. He's a strong left foot on him. But he's taking a corner from his right, trying to chip the ball in. Another corner. Beg your pardon, that's number eight for Iran. Abbas, their captain. And now on the release, quick counter attack. Number six, Sankey. Running down the left flank, but stopped in his path by Uwes. Number 11, Uwes. He looks exhausted as well. And the Irish now have a corner. Plays the ball back to Homaldini. Quick through pass straight to the goalkeeper. Abbas now, number 8. Trying to find something here. Number five, that man, Jaber. Been absolutely brilliant in the back. Oves asking for a foul. But he completely missed the ball. Trying to hit it back into the field of play. And now the goalkeeper back with the ball. The Irish trying to find some sort of inspiration here. If they can get a goal, they know they can shut this game down. They're very good defensively. It's Iran who has to do all the goal scoring after that. Humaldini, Humaldini has been brought down. And the referee points to a free kick. Frustration there for Iran. But that was a good run there by Humaldini. Number eight, their captain Gav on the ball. Homaldini on his left. Big wall there, five, three, eight. The big units for Iran blocking defensively. Number six, Sankey on the right. Takes a quick shot. Good idea, wrong execution. The ball goes over the goal post. Score still zero, still one, one. Seven minutes to play. Now in this semi-final game. Ball infield. And number three. Number three has been brought down. Mustafa. Ireland very lucky. He was not able to get his left foot wrapped around the ball. He hits the ball really hard. Ja number three, Mustafa. Now eight, Abbas on the ball for that free kick. Quick shot taken, beautiful save. Beautiful save there by Owen. That was hit very, very hard. And you can see it's hit him on his wrist. That was a supremely hit shot. Very lucky that Owen got a hand on it. Otherwise, that would have gone right into the back of the net. Iran putting all the pressure now on Ireland. As a goalkeeper, I can completely understand that snap on the wrist is very, very painful. It takes a bit of time to recover from that. Now Iran with the corner. Quick corner taken. And Jabber almost getting a foot on it. Owen still in a lot of pain. He's clutching on his wrist. Six and a half minutes to go. Good footwork there by Gav. Good footwork there. An even better tackle by the Iranians. Ireland again on the attack. Gav with the ball. Takes a shot. Hits the defender from Iran. Goes out for a corner.
Good defending there by Iran. Winning the ball back on the counter now. Quick counter. There's an Irish defender down as well on the other side. So they're one man short. Takes a shot. And that's a goal from Uwes. Number 11. Beautiful right footed hit from short. Takes a shot. And that's a goal from Uwes. Number 11. Beautiful full stretch. But unable to get a hand on it. There are a few protests from the Irish because they had a man down. But nonetheless, the referee has given a goal. Iran, Rafsanjan 2, Ireland, Synergy 1. Five minutes left to play now. Iran with the lead. Ireland again trailing by a goal. Iran Rafsanjan 2, Ireland Synergy 1. Apologies for that error on the screen at the moment. Get that fixed quickly. Ireland now in the lead. Ireland now trailing. Iran in the lead. Uves. Beautiful right footed shot there from quite far away. Now Ireland trying to build something here. Lots of bodies, lots of bodies by Iran in the back. And again, Uves with the ball. But the referee has blown his whistle. That would have been a one on one situation for Uves, and you don't want that happening. He has a strong right foot, very quick as well, Uves. Foul given to Ireland. Gav now on the ball. Gives it to number six, Sankey. Very good defending by number five. That man, Jabber, for me, even though he has not scored a goal, the man of the match, he's stopped a lot of attacks from the Irish. Put his body on the line as a defender. Again, Ireland on the back foot now. A lot of pressure on them to win the ball back from the Iranians and try to build something here. Good thinking that good pass almost finds a West. Goldmart to Goldmart. Action now. A lot of action going on here. The Irish. One goal down. 2 1. They could still equalize and take this game further. But you can sense that Iran now putting a lot of pressure at the back. Gav over the ball. Free kick situation. Takes a direct kick. That was very poor from them. And again, the ball goes out for a short free kick. Gav trying to be cheeky, catching them off guard. But just didn't get the hit on time. And on the right spot, Iran now attacking again. The ball with Uwes. Uwes back to Jabber. Who's been inspirational at the back. Two minutes left on the clock. Iran 2, Ireland 1. A lot of protests going on for time wasting. The Irish look exhausted. The heat getting to them, not just off the game, but also from the sun. Gav asking to be substituted. And Iran would do well to just keep the ball at their feet now. And run this clock down. One and a half minute to go. The Irish still fighting. Home Aldini. The big unit. Number 11. That's asking for a foul. Few tempers now. Number 7. Farhad. And Sankey. Num big important. That was Chirin. Number 7. On the field. Trying to build something here. Number 11, Homaldini. Looking for a quick pass. Oin playing as a midfielder now. They need all the bodies that they can up front. The ball is hit outside for a goal kick. We are now in the final minute of this game. It's been a classic encounter between Iran and Ireland. Iran first taking the lead. The Irish equalizing. And then Iran... 
scoring what could be the decider, the winner of this game, 2-1. Owes and Mustafa, the goal scorers for Iran. Stephen, number nine for Ireland. Homaldini now, can he take a shot in? Beautiful goalkeeping there, brilliant stop. The ball is still with Homaldini. Can he get another shot in? No, he cannot. The time's up. Iran, Rafsanjan have won this encounter with Ireland. They have won this knockout game and qualified for the finals of the World Corporate Champions Cup 2021 here in Dubai. We're at the La Liga Academy in Dubai Sports City and the defending champions, Iran, given a bit of a fight by Ireland, have qualified for the finals. Well-deserved. They've been the team of the tournament. They've played the best football so far. Strong stop there right at the end. The last shot of the game at the goalpost by Subhan. Who's been one of the goalkeepers of the tournament. And now Iran are in the finals. We will be back for the second plate semi-final. And then bring you the finals of this tournament. Have a look at that. Jubilant faces as they reach the finals of this World Corporate Champions Cup.
A very warm welcome everyone and welcome to the FIFCO World Corporate Champions Cup. Field, the North Field in fact, and we have the match today between Galacticos of Nigeria and Shaloub of the UAE, the home side if you would like. Now we're into the crunch stage of the tournament. Match day three, the knockout stages have arrived. There you can see the power packed Nigerian outfit. Keep an eye on number 10, Mikhail. Aaron is their center back, flying center back. And Onome, the captain himself. Oguchunse as well, number seven. The wing forward player gets up and down the field very quickly. And Espy, the keeper. The sweeper keeper, if you like. And kickoff has taken place with Shaloub hanging on to the ball, trying to build from the back. Quickly moving the ball around, getting the game underway. It's going to be a crunch match here this morning, live from the La Liga Academy in Dubai Sports City. And it's Mikael on the ball, trying to play it around. Onome, the captain on the ball right now, looking to build from the back. Alongside Aaron there, the two double pivots at the back for the Nigerians. The ball almost intercepted there. Bit of a collision there on his upper thigh, but hopefully the UAE striker will be fine. And immediately the rolling subs are out. So good to see the UAE think tank. Speculative shot, mishandled, and it's been tucked in. No, the referee has pulled it back. And could this be a penalty opportunity here? Mishandled, and it's been tucked in. No, the referee keeper. And has it been given? A bit of a mystery here. And in fact, the goal has been given, bundled in, the advantage was played, and the Galacticos of Nigeria have taken the lead. UAE now on the ball, trying to build from the back, but once again, errant in their possession. Mikhail taking a shot, a speculative shot with his left foot, just fizzing past the left upright. It's Bill standing in goal for the UAE side. Once again, these two sides have faced off already a couple of times. And it's going to be a goal kick for the home side. Of course, you're allowed to pick up the ball and throw it immediately in 5 on 5 futsal. Aaron marking Hamza there. Trying to build from the back. Onome does really well. The wins the ball back in a dangerous position. Breaking towards the UAE goal. And brilliantly done there. Fantastic tackling. A bit of a shove there from Mikael. And you can see the UAE defender was not happy at all there. So it's been a rough and tumble start to the game so far. Both sides sussing each other out. This is, of course, the final match day here. A lot of results still in play. Once again, trying to build from the back here. Our PWC, oh, it's a back pass here. Held by the goalkeeper and the referee has pulled them up. A very, very casual error there from the home side. And now the Nigerians have a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. Skewed over the top of the upright this time, getting away with that. Our PWC. 
Bill trying to release the ball early, but once again, SP, the Nigerian keeper, stepping in there. Good game awareness. They've already taken the lead. And now, just need to control the game. It's the home side that will need to make something happen with Hamza on the ball. Trying that through ball down the right flank, but cut out just in time. Trying to rebuild from the back. It's going to be Hussein on the ball. Nicely intercepted once again, but cleaned up here. Good attack here being created. Hussein on the ball once again. They're playing one person as the pivot. Nice skill there. Good turn, but aggressive tackling coming in from Onome, the captain of the Galacticos. He wins the ball. Aggressive there from Mustafa. Wins the ball in a good area. Down to Hamza. Opens up, but the shot is blocked just in time. And it's Hussein all alone at the back. So immediately a shift in tactics. Trying to intercept there, Mikhail. But just about ran away from him for a kick in. Of course, you're only allowed kick ins in futsal. And here's Hamza on the ball once again. Sparkling feet. Hussein chipping the ball towards the goal. Mustafa in some space, but couldn't chest the ball down in time. Mikhail, meanwhile, on the left flank, breaking forward, a step over. And it's scurried away. And it will be a corner, will it? Yes, it will for the Nigerians. Five minutes into the first half. PwC once again under the cosh from the Galacticos. Onome, the captain of Nigeria, stepping over to take this corner. Their set-piece specialist. Lofted into the box. Aaron coming in down the right flank. But nicely cut out in the end. Good work. UA team remain resolute, remain switched on. And it's going to be number 19, Aziz, playing it all the way back to Aaron, who goes all the way back to SP in goal, who's the captain today. Usually we see Onome wearing the captain's armband. So good to see leadership roles being rotated around amongst the squad. Aaron breaking forward, trying to do a give and go with Mikhail. Nicely done, nicely executed there. A lot of space down the right flank for Aziz. Squares the ball, but just about cut away in time by Hossein. And now the UAE can reset and build an attack. Mustafa on the ball. Just glides past his defender. And he's dragged him back. It's going to be a free kick. The referee won't be happy with that kind of tackling. Let's see if it's going to be a verbal warning or a straight yellow card. Mustafa number 18, he is the real creative force here for the PWC side alongside number 10, Hamza. Those two are the ones who are tasked with doing all the offense, running the offense. Kick in once again for the home side. We're almost halfway into the first half. Nice turn there, nice shift of weight opening up. But Hamza takes a shot and it's gone in, is it? I believe it has. They've tied it all up. A beautiful fit. But Hamza takes a shot and it's gone in, is it? I believe it has. They've tied chance. 1-1 one, one here versus Nigeria and the UAE. A cracking finish. Created the goal all on his own. And Mustafa will be credited with the assist as well. This time Aziz on the ball, playing it back. Ogogonchi on the left side. Once again breaking Mustafa with the chance. Beautiful block there by the Nigerian keeper. Getting down just in time. But he may have handled the, box, the ball outside the box. So it's going to be a set piece opportunity here for PwC. They've got the wind amongst their sails now. It's going to be an indirect free kick. The Nigerians will be allowed to build a wall. Mustafa keeping an eye, perhaps going to work it back. Lay it off to Hussein, who will have a shot on target. Let's take a look. Hamza is also not marked. Open shot, and it's been blocked just in time. You could see what Mustafa was planning there. A bit of trickery, a bit of guile, almost worked there for the home side. Nicely turning his defender once again. 
Mustafa and Hamza are getting a lot of space, a lot of time on the ball, but this time Mikael has stepped in. Brilliant move there by the Nigerian number 10. He's been tripped up. And there's a booking for some insolence there from Mustafa, frustrated that they couldn't get a shot off and booted the ball away. Right, then 10 minutes gone in the first half. Aaron on the ball, looking to find some space down the right flank. Oh, Aziz could have made a run there. There was some space to exploit. Just a misplaced ball there. And the home side can rebuild once again. They've had a tough time in this tournament. But now when you're, you're in the knockout stage, there could be a surprise on the cards. Played towards Aaron, who's been a constant presence here on the right flank. It's going to squirt away for a corner here. Once again, the Nigerians very dangerous on set pieces. UA will need to remain switched on. They have equalized. Mikael on the ball, working it around. Oh, space opening up here. Aaron on the ball, takes a low shot, but blocked away by Mustafa. Another corner conceded. So it's been a very tactical battle here between UAPWC and the Galacticos of Nigeria. Mikael once again, nicely flicked away, but nicely cut out by Mustafa as well. And he wins possession for the home side. Excellent defending there. He's had to work hard in this tournament, get gotten up and down the pitch, demanded the ball, and made things happen. Nice crossfield ball, but there was nobody making the run, and Aaron will clean up here. And this time, Nigeria get to reset. Kaka has come in for Onome, giving the captain a bit of a rest. Played down the line towards Mikael. And he'll deflect it away for yet another corner for the Nigerians. Three and a half minutes remaining in the half. They would like to restore their lead. Squared away into the center. Just couldn't hang on to it, the Nigerians. And now the UAE will have time on the ball. Plays it towards the main man, Mustafa, being adventurous in his own half here. The Nigerians can break a shot at goal, and Bill has made a brilliant save. Fantastic dive towards his left, and he's parried it away for a yet another corner for the Nigerians. He had some space, he had some time, a powerful shot, but excellent reflexes from the veteran keeper of the UAE. Cross into the box, Mikhail trying to flick it on. Oh, brilliant skill there from the defender. But the kicking does go against him. It's Kaka who won the ball back for the Galacticos. And he'll work it all the way back to Aaron. Mikael has dropped deep. Nice inlet ball to Kaka. But firmly challenged there by the home side. Just about two minutes away from the halftime break. It's been an engaging contest. Both sides not look to press too aggressively. Clearly playing for time. Of course, this is the knockout stage. So one critical error can be the difference between victory and defeat. Mikael looking up, trying to find an another Galacticos shirt in the box. Chips the ball in. Oh, stepping in there was Kaka. And yet again, they've won another corner. They've had plenty of goals at it already. Let's see if they can finally put one away. Play to Mikael, try to flick it into the box. Mustafa stepping in, Mikael wins possession. Tries to square the ball, but Hussein gets his foot in just in the nick of time. And now the attack has broken down. Nigeria will rebuild, will reset. 
Kaka looking for somebody to make a run ahead of him. Aaron on the ball right now. Taking a step, taking a look. Lovely, colorful jersey there for the Nigerian goalkeeper. Mikhail just about nicking the ball away in time. It will be yet another set piece opportunity here. 1 1. It's all tied up here. In field A at the La Liga Academy in Dubai Sports City. This is, of course, the World Corporate Champions Cup, powered by FIFCO. Dubai 2021. SP being adventurous here, adding a man in attack. Brilliant cross, volleyed over the keeper this time. Not quite sure whether it was a shot or a cross there from Mikel. In the end, it was a bit of both. And safely going over the UAE net. But that was definitely a very big opportunity. And that's the halftime whistle here. Galacticos and PwC all tied up. It's been an interesting contest. The Nigerians have had a lot of set-piece opportunities but failed to capitalize. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back for the second half. Stay tuned.
Right then, welcome back everyone to the World Corporate Champions Cup, match day three. Galacticos of Nigeria taking on PwC of the UAE. It's all tied up at the break. You can see the Nigerians in very good spirits. But they would like another goal to take the lead. It's going to be the Nigerians to bring the ball out of the back. Michel for the UAE, cleaning up quickly and efficiently. Plays it towards the main man, Mustafa. Finding some space down the left. Michel making the run there. Beautiful through ball, but SP has cleaned it up just in time. Brilliant vision. And he was just about inches away from that ball. Nicely done. So Michel has definitely added something to the attack. Has some raw speed and acceleration. SP, the big unit, stepping in there for Nigeria. Nicely working the ball around here. Aaron now on the ball in his signature yellow boots. He is a real worker getting up and down that left hand flank. Nicely won there by Hussein. Oh, lovely spin, lovely technique. And now the PWC side are really rolling, showing their class and quality. Give and go with Michel down the right flank, trying to square the ball. And it's going to hit the defender and go away for a corner. So an excellent start for the UAE after the break. Definitely looking very dangerous. And Nigeria looking a bit ragged here, looking a bit tired. Into the box and there it is. 2-1 to the good. Our UAE Hamza completely unmarked on the far post. And he's buried it. The home side take the lead. A minute and a half into the second half 13 minutes to go and the Galacticos have all to do here a stunning result taking place Onome the captain of Nigeria out there on the pitch now things have gotten very serious a low shot and it's beaten Bill in the UAE goal it's all tied up in a split things have gotten very serious a low shot and it's beaten Bill Cutter as they say and it's all tied up 2-2. Immediate response within seconds from the Nigerians. And the UAE barely had time to celebrate. And it's all tied up. Michel breaking down the right flank. Speculative long-range strike. Hitting the side netting of the goal. So just when you thought PwC would take command of the game, the Nigerians have hit back in a flash. Aaron on the ball now, taking a few touches, using his keeper. Lofted ball down the ground towards Mikhail, who has some space down the right. He's had a brilliant battle with Hussein. And once again, number four for the UAE, Hussein, doing extremely well. It's been a tough task trying to tie down Mikhail, the superstar Nigerian striker, but he's done very well acquitted himself very nicely there ball into the box SP with the volley and it's an absolute skyer into the next ground you can see why he's a goalkeeper as he confidently strolls back into the goal but that was a well worked attack it has to be said caught PwC by surprise Michel playing the ball to Hamza and now Mustafa beautiful ball once again on the ball tripped up there and it's given as a foul and this is an opportunity for PwC in a dangerous area. Very central position. Aaron protesting with the referee, but that was certainly a late foul, trying to trip up Mustafa, who did well to stay on his feet. Could have easily gone down in a heap. The Nigerian wall being forced back by the referee. Both Hamza and Mustafa eyeing this up. Three men in the Nigerian wall. And the big unit of SP himself standing in goal. Michel also eyeing it a bit. Square to Michel, but blocked just in time. Hussein trying a shot there from the halfway circle. Chipped into the box, a header. Very, very close there. Mustafa had an opportunity. Good vision there from Hamza. But he's deflected, glanced that header wide. It's going to be goal kick here for the Galacticos. Ten minutes remaining. Who will get the winner? Who will get the odd goal? 
all tied up at two each. It's been a fascinating game. Aaron once again, the man charged with setting up the Nigerian attack. Interesting to see him to the left, switch to the left-hand side in the second half. Looking for Onome, the captain, who's taken a very forward position. Lofted shot just over the goal. Bill was standing a bit outside. Could have been dodgy there, but couldn't get the dip on that cross, and he's parried it away for a corner. We've had the Nigerians take at least seven to eight corners in this game, but he had to capitalize on any of them. Onome. The big number six stepping out there. The set piece specialist. We have Kaka in the box as well as Mikael on the near post. SP once again left unchecked. Tries to head the ball in this time. A repeat of the set piece that Nigeria executed earlier. SP adding a man into the attack. And you can see Hussein agitated with his teammates. Why aren't you watching the keeper as well? It's twice he's had open looks at the goal. Hamza making the run down the right flank, but Aaron is watching him like a hawk. And they'll win back possession. Just under nine minutes to go. Who will get the winner here? You do feel that there's one goal left in this game. Mikael coming out to the halfway center. Onome also creating some space. Nicely dribbled down the right flank. Takes a big shot, booming shot across the goal. But Bill was safely in position. Nigerians seem to be building up ahead of steam here. Nice through ball down the right side. Hamza just about gives him the slip. And it will be a foul. Aaron trying one tackle too many there on Hamza. And PwC have a free kick in a very interesting position. Mustafa getting over the ball. Will they play a low cross or try to... Repeat that header they created a few minutes ago. Mustafa has moved out, so it's Michel, number nine, standing over it. The angle seems to be tough for a direct shot. SP is a big guy and hard to beat. Squared into the box, scuffed it, unfortunately. Hussein tries to get the ball back in, but that attack will harmlessly peter away. Launched into the PwC half and Hossein taking no chances. Route 1 football clears it immediately. So it's going to be yet another corner for the Nigerians. Seven and a half minutes to go. This time a break for the home side. Onome taking a risk there. He didn't know what was behind him. But thankfully Hamza had moved away. Kaka on the ball, works it towards Aaron, who has some space down the left flank. Hamza closing the space. Onome, nice dummy there. Mikael, lovely turn and a beautiful goal. There it is. The Galacticos have taken the lead thanks to that man. Number 10, Mikael, lovely spin. And Onome, nice dummy there. Mikael, lovely turn and a beautiful goal. There it is. The Galacticos have taken the lead. Thanks to that man, number 10, Mikael, of the game. Spectacular goal. Six minutes remaining in the game. You can see the Nigerian coach telling his team to get up and down. Don't let your energy levels drop just yet. Mikael with a moment of magic there. And now he's back there defending. Playing that center half roll. Aaron trying to play the ball towards the left flank, but Michel intercepts. Hamza on the ball here for PwC, chipped into the box. And Mikael adding another defender now. You can see the game plan for the Nigerians is very clear. Let's shut up shop. We have five minutes to defend. Let's get the victory. We've got the precious third goal. Aero coming in as well. Kaka playing up the field. Mustafa on the ball, has no option but to roll it back to Bill, taking a chance there, the PwC keeper, intercepted here by Aaron. SP stepping out there, having a direct launch at goal, that would have been a sensational goal. But Mustafa now trying to build from the back, 
They don't have a lot of time, only five minutes remaining in the game. Using Bill, their goalkeeper, as an extra option here. But there's nobody out there on the left flank for PWC. Where was Hamza? Where was Mustafa? Where was Michel? All three were missing in attack there. As Aaron gets on the ball and they get time to reset. You can see immediately Mikel is playing a much deeper position. Just making sure that they have somebody covering the goal side. Four and a half minutes to go. The Nigerians in firm control of this game. They have a grip on it. Kaka, oh, misplaced pass there. Mustafa wins it back. Plays it towards Hamza. And he's hit the upright. Can you believe it? One on one. Plays pass there. Mustafa wins it back. Plays it towards Hamza. And he's hit the upright. Can you escape for the Galacticos? Four minutes remaining. What a chance there for PwC to equalize. And Mikhail has gone down in a heap. And they will get a much needed reprieve here. Of course, the clock keeps on running. Three minutes and 45 seconds remaining. There will be some added extra time at this rate. The referee has to be alert. There will be some shenanigans on the field. But it does look like Mikel is suffering here. Holding his right calf as we see the medical staff out there. Getting the stretcher there. And he says, I'll be alright. Just give me some support. He is a key player for the Galacticos. They desperately need him to be fully fit. Good to see him just limping off there with the support of the medical staff. Looks like he will be all right eventually. Need to use a bit of that magic spray. Three and a half minutes remaining here in this encounter. He was the principal goal scorer with that magnificent turn and toe poke finish. And once again, the game has resumed. Another big chance for the Nigerians. This time all the way back to SP, taking some liberties with the ball. But now you can see Aero is out there for Mikael, number 11. Ogukhunche playing an attack. Plenty of instructions coming in from the Nigerian dugout. This time some space down the left flank. Ogukhunche closing down the UAE attacker. Mustafa has a chance to take a shot. Lofted but well wide in the end. Three minutes to go. Onome, the captain out there. Ogukonche trying to turn with the ball, but it struck him on the arm, and UAE get on the ball immediately. Michel has it at the center circle. Plays it to Mustafa, and they have buried it. They have equalized. Once again, the Nigerians being rocked late. It's 3-3. PWC and the Galacticos all tied up with two and a half minutes to go. You can see the Nigerian team extremely disappointed. They couldn't remain focused. They had almost seen the game out. But Mustafa, the main man, once again, creating the assist and a straightforward finish. It's all tied up with two minutes to go. Late save there by Bill, getting down in time. It's a corner for the Nigerians. Will there be a photo finish here? Will the Galacticos... Nick one just in the nick of time. You can see the UA time, UAE side are absolutely exhausted. It's early morning, early midday here. Onome squaring the ball, but there's nobody there for the Galacticos. It's going to be a kick in for PWC. One minute, 40 seconds remaining. Mustafa on the ball, taking the kick in, playing it in Onome. The captain doing well there, reading the play. 
The Nigerians are breaking forward, skips past one. Mustafa facing up with him. Has to lay it back to Aaron, all the way back to SP. Taking chances once again, SP plays it to Ogokonche in attack, squares the ball. Shot from Onome and saved by Bill. Good save by the UA keeper. Is going away for yet another corner. We've seen truckloads of them here for the Nigerians. At this time, SP looks like he will remain in goal. Aaron joining the attack. And it's a kick in for the home side. Less than a minute to go here. What a game we've had. And in fact, it is full time. It's all tied at three. And looks like we will have some extra time here at field A at the La Liga Academy. Nothing to separate the two. Galacticos three, PWC three. Right then, it's time for penalties between Galacticos Nigeria and PWC. Hamza has blazed it over the bar. The home side missed their first penalty kick. SP, the big presence, had unnerved him and he has skied it. What a way to start the penalty shootout. It's going to be Aaron for Nigeria. You can see a bit in the UAE goal there, trying to distract him. And he smashed it in. Brilliant hit there from Aaron. Praising the Almighty. Went low, went, went hard, and found the net. Right then, good spirit all round. The second PK coming up for UAE. What a thriller we're having here at the La Liga Academy. He's missed it as well. Can you believe it? Blazes it wide. Went for the corner and missed it. SP once again, the main man for Nigeria. Let's see if Bill can do something here. Bring the UAE back into the game. It's 2-0. Yes, it is. Bottom corner, he's found it once again, and it's all over. The Galacticos of Nigeria have triumphed over PWC of the UAE. It was 3-3 at the end of full time, and the UAE have missed both their penalties, and Nigerians took their chances. It's all over here. The Galacticos of Nigeria. There you can see the passion, the emotion and a brilliant spirit all around from both sides. What a game we've had, incredible.
welcome to the plate final between the two home teams the two home teams uae shaloop versus uae pwc unfortunately both of them were knocked out from the semi finals so now playing the third and fourth place uae pwc with that man the talisman hamza number 10 in the white and green and uae shaloop in the red and white strong start already first minute of this game score 0 0 hamza trying to find a player amin now on the release amin with an opportunity a good pass there a great save the defender puts his body on the line to stop that shot number 4 hussein UAE Shaloob with their goalkeeper Anas the captain had a good run unfortunately both these teams losing out on their respective semi finals now playing for the third fourth place ball given number 11 of the UAE Shaloob pass open goal post missed by number 3 poor finishing there by shaloob that was a good opportunity to go 1-0 up that was ahmed number 11 missing the opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net this match very much for the local bragging rights both the teams representing uae the home teams here in the la liga academy in dubai for the world corporate champions cup and after the third fourth games we will have the two finals the plate final and the final of the world champions cup between iran rafsanjan and saudi saab so stay tuned with us here on sports eye YouTube channel as well as Facebook free kick now for UAE PWC Hamza number 10 the best player for the UAE sides and the ball goes past Shaloob's goalkeeper Anas score stays nil nil good passing there amin amin giving the ball to number 3 while can quick action between the players number 19 there duli amin again with the ball number 3 while trying to get a shot across but good goalkeeping there by bill of the uae pwc side very interesting footwear for bill he's wearing some formal shoes believe it or not not the traditional football shoes you'd see on the pitch hamza again now trying to build something header and blocked by amin the two number 10s putting in a lot of work amin now one and one with the goalkeeper bill passes the ball and hits an own goal hits number 4 of the UAE PWC one with the goalkeeper bill passes the ball and hits an own goal hits number while of UAE Shaloop putting a lot of pressure UAE Shaloop 1 PWC 0 the players now exhausted having to play back to back games and the pwc side now 
trailing by one goal. Hamza on the ball. Passes it to number four, Hussein. They go back to Bill, the goalkeeper. UAE PWC has to find a way. They've got Michel and Matthew. And then again, a defensive error. And the ball now at the back of the net. UAE Shaloub have scored two in quick succession. The scoreline, UAE Shaloub 2, UAE PWC 0. A false start now from the halfway line. And we go again. While making an impact for the Shaloub side. Contributing in both the goals, causing that defensive error from Hussein, who knocked the ball in the back of the net, his own net. Now, number eight, Ibra of the Shaloub side in. Hamza one on one with Anas, and he loses the ball. That was a good opportunity. Again, Wa'il, the ball's open. Number nine, Kali. Kali with the ball, still with the ball. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. UAE Shaloub is making a statement. And Kali, Kali with the ball, still with the ball. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. UAE three goals, thanks to Wael and his efforts. And UAE Shaloub now running away with the game. 3 0 against UAE PWC. We will all know who has the bragging rights in this local derby game for both the UAE teams. The, UA the Shaloub goalkeeper Anas not tested so far. Not even a single shot on target. And they'll knock the ball around now. Eight minutes, only eight minutes of the game gone so far and they're still, they're already three goals down. PWC. Ball's open, number eight, Ibra. Ibra has put that in the back of the net. Shaloub running away with this game. UAE Shaloub four, UAE PWC zero. Ball's open, number eight, Ibra. Ibra has put that in the back of the net. Shaloub running away with this game. Hamza now on the ball. They all look extremely tired, the UAE PWC players. And it does not help when you concede four goals in less than 10 minutes. Hamza on the ball now. Can he get a shot across? He does. Yes, hits the defender. And it's those guys again. Shaloub, Kali, number nine. Good footwork. Very good defending as well. Can he get a shot across? Number three, Wael. Yes, it is. Wael with a hat trick. It's UAE Shaloub, five. UAE PWC 0 and that man while number 3 with the hat trick of the game this is a 20 minute match 0 and that man while number 3 with the hat trick of the game brilliant up front number 3 5 0 this is all one way traffic Just the 10 minutes of the game so far. And the score line. An embarrassing five goals to nil. Can PWC stage some sort of fight back? They've taken Hamza off. No, he's still here, but now he's playing as a defender. He's come to the back and trying to stop the leak. 5-0, unbelievable scoreline already in the first 10 minutes of the game. And UAE Shaloub must be feeling very disappointed. They were one of the better sides, were expected to play the finals, but lost the path in the semi-finals against a very strong Mali side. Ball goes out now for a short free kick. UAE Shalub 5, 
UAE PWC 0. It's the local derby game between the two UAE sides. Knocking the ball around now. Again, that man, while can he get a fourth? No, it no, it's Kali. Kali hits the side. Very, very good football there. One, two passing. Kali poor on the finish. And while now already three goals to the good. Setting up that ball for Kali, who unfortunately misses. Building slowly now from the back. There's still a lot of time left in this game. PwC would want to state some sort of a comeback. Number nine, Michel, now in the playing half of the pitch. Hamza playing in the front, trying to look for number six, but not able to find him. This has been one-way traffic so far. Quick short free kick taken. Hamza now with the ball. Take a shot, but there is a defender who stops it. And they go on the counter-attack. Amin, number 10, Amin. One-on-one -on -one with a defender. Brilliant footwork there. Absolutely amazing to watch. But again, good recovery. Good comeback there from number nine, Kali, who takes the ball back. Takes a shot there. Hamza very close to the goalkeeper. Now the ball goes out for a free kick. It's almost midday here. Extremely hot and humid and you can see that. But these players are still running from one end to the other. Box to box action. It's number four for PwC. Takes a shot. Bilal unable to test the goalkeeper. And now Amin. Amin running towards the goalkeeper. Try something fancy. Step over. Can he get a shot across? No, he does not. He's the only man up front. Rest of the guys standing in the back. And they've taken a break, a water break, after eight minutes. UAE Shalub 5, UAE PWC 0. One way traffic at the moment in this game.
We're ready to kick off the second half of this third place match for the plate league between the two home teams, UAE PWC and UAE Shaloub Group. The World Corporate Champions Cup being held here at the La Liga Academy in Dubai. The scoreline, one-way traffic, UAE Shaloub 5, UAE PWC 0, Hamza from PWC starts off the game. The two distinct figures of Hassan and Ibra and Hamza takes a shot, goes, hits the defender and goes wide. Corner kick now, last half. This of this third fourth match game between the two UAE sides this will be followed by the two finals the plate final between Nigeria and Mali and the pro final between Iran Rafsanjan and Saudi Arabia Saab quick free kick taken Paul now goes back towards Bill the goalkeeper who lets it run out his very distinct brown Shoes, those are not regulation football shoes, I can guarantee you that. I mean, now on the ball, on the right flank. Number 19 clears up duly for the UAE Shalhoub team. I mean, moving back towards the defense. Ball with Ibra, number 8, back to Ibra. Number 7, Hassan with the ball is on the left. Number seven, Hassan, he had a great match yesterday. Number six for UAE PWC, makes a mistake. The ball goes outside for a corner kick. The goalkeeper for UAE PWC Bill, a lot of shots on target, a lot of shots in the goal, 5-0, UAE Shaloub, Ibra now takes a corner, he's got Hassan supporting him on the left, in the air, Hamza, good control there after the clearance, Hamza is running towards the shot, finally gets a hit towards Anas, the goalkeeper who makes a smart save, and keeps a clean sheet so far. UAE Shaloub 5, PWC 0. It's all to play for in this third, fourth place. Bragging rights, as you can see, Anas enjoying themselves. This is great to watch. They all have to report back to work tomorrow with sore bodies. But so far, it's for the pride of the country and their company as well. Good shot there. Brilliant save again by Anas. That was hit very, very hard by Hamza. Number 10 scored a strong right foot. Now, again, a short free kick taken very quickly. Number 9 for UAE PWC, Michelle. The ball goes out for a corner kick. Beg your pardon, there's a short free kick now given to UAE Shaloub. Kicks the ball in with Amin now. Amin, good pass to Hassan. Hassan, number seven. Can he get a shot across? Yes, he can. But it goes over the goalpost. Bill thanking his stars that was not hit straight at him because it was hit very, very hard. Goes over the goalpost. And Shaloub, still five goals to the good. PWC now on the attack. Michel finds number six. Trying to find Hamza. Hamza, yes. The inevitable happens. Hamza, number 10 of UAE PW. Trying to find Hamza. Hamza, yes. The inevitable happens. Hamza, number 10. And deservedly scores a goal. So UAE Shaloub 5.
PWC won. Can they stage a comeback in the last 10 minutes of this game? On the attack. On the attack. Number three is that man while he has scored his fourth goal of the match. On the attack. On the attack. Number three is that man while he has scored his fourth goal. 6-1. Unbelievable scoreline at the moment and out of those six, four goals have been scored by Weil and one own goal caused by Weil as well. So he has been instrumental in all six goals. Goal scored by Kali was also an assist. So he's had a hand to play in all six goals so far while clearly one of the man of the match performances. And there is a reply from UAE PWC. The goals are coming. Six goals so far while clearly one of the man of the match performances. And there is a reply from UAE PWC. It's 6 2. It's all happening here at field A at the La Liga Academy for the World Corporate Champions Cup. Bragging rights for the UAE teams on offer and after conceding five goals PWC has made a strong comeback two goals to the good but also conceded one Hassan now number seven with the ball at his feet Amin to support him can PWC claw back from 6-2 that's what we want to watch here it's been an exciting game so far even though this is a third fourth match game there's a lot of pride here at stake and just like that the ball is free. Hamza one on one with the defender. But number 11 doing really well. Ahmed there. Ball is still with Michel. Michel gives it to number 4 Hussein. The ball goes out for a free kick. Ball goes out now. Both flares are on the floor. That was a collision of sorts. Hamza comes. And again, it could be dangerous here. As we mentioned, these are all corporate employees. He seems to be in a lot of pain, especially with his knee in the air. UAE PWC, they're asking for a stretcher. Yes, he's in a lot of pain there. I think that's Amr, number six. All the players around him, they look worried. They're trying to straighten his leg. The, the medical team now on the ground. Well, if you were thinking this is some sort of a friendly game, the third, fourth place match. All the emotions coming out here as well. A slight collision. I think he might have twisted his knee. He looks in a lot of play, pain. UAE PWC player. Just want to take him off the pitch as quickly as possible. Putting some ice on that. And hopefully the damage is not that big. The captain of UAE, Shaloub, Anas, having a conversation with the... Have a look at the player again walking out. He's in a lot of pain at the moment. He looks in excruciating pain. After that short hold-up, we are back to begin. This game between UAE, Shaloub and UAE, PWC. Score 6-2. Eight minutes left on the clock. Can UAE PWC stage a comeback? Amin with the ball now for Shaloub group. Can he get a shot across? Yes, he can. But it goes wide. Number 11 of UAE Shaloub, Ahmad, gets a shot out. But does not test the goalkeeper. Now the goalkeeper in those funky brown shoes going forward. But unfortunately, not fit enough to run the length of the pitch. We saw the England goalkeeper 
try a couple of goals. Nizar from Lebanon tried that as well. Amin, very tight angle, could not get a shot across and test the target. Score still 6 2. Seven minutes left. Michel now, number nine, with Hamza supporting him, trying to go on his own in front of the defenders. Tries to pass it to Hussein. Fumbles it. The goalkeeper has come out. Hits the inside of the post. Can you believe it? No goalkeeper, but still not touching. And finally, finally, Amin gets a shot across. But has come out. Hits the inside of the post. Can you believe it? No goalkeeper, but still not touching. And finally, in shoe has hit Bill on his face. Everything happening in this game. 7-2 the score now. Amin got a solid shot across. The ball goes into the back of the net. Amin's shoe goes into the face of the goalkeeper, Bill. Everything happening in this game. 7-2 now the score line. And the writing seems to be on the wall for UAE PWC. Hamza, the energetic Hamza, looks tired, looks exhausted. They've played back-to-back -back games now after losing the semi-final, playing the third, fourth match. At the same time, almost, you have to be supremely fit to play these games. Corner now for UAE PWC. 7-2 the scoreline. Five minutes left on the clock. They'll want to get as many consolation goals as they possibly can. Hamza now with the ball. Can he get a shot across? Yes, he can. Hits the defender. Anas feeds Wa'il who's been instrumental today. Man of the match performance, if there was any. Four goals scored. Assisted two. Bill now coming out. He's given the ball away to the Shaloub group players. Bill is halfway down the line. There is no goalkeeper. They're playing around. That was a bit of schoolyard fun. Bill is halfway down the line. There is no goalkeeper. They're playing around. That was a bit of schoolyard. I'm just playing around. While unselfishly giving the ball into the path of Ahmed to score the eighth goal. 8-2 now the score line. Five minutes still on the clock. And they've called it off. With five minutes still to go, the players shake hands. It's extremely hot, extremely humid. And you can understand that UAE PwC and UAE Shaloub group Having played three games in the morning today, tired and exhausted. So, UAE, Shaloub, finishes third in this game and end the tournament. Third place in the plate finals. We will be back with the two championship games, the plate final between... Nigeria and Mali and the main final between Iran and Saudi. See you then.
Mali starting from right to left. Nigeria will go from left to right. Nigerians in their traditional green and white kit. The Nigerian Galacticos, their captain, the goalkeeper, Onome. Mali had a good tournament. Unfortunate to have lost out on the semi-finals but will now be playing the plate final. You can tune in to field B for the main final between Iran and Saudi Arabia Saab for the World Corporate Champions Cup being held here in Dubai. La Liga Academy is in the sport city brought to you by FIFCO. PMU Mali versus Nigeria Galaticos. The plate final about to begin now. 30 minutes. African nations competing for glory here. We saw the two home teams UAE play out the third, fourth place just before this. And now Mali on the attack. Number eight for Mali takes a shot. Faroto, but misses. The goalkeeper number one for Nigeria, SP, throws the ball into the playing area. Ball goes out now for a short free kick. Nigeria on the attack. Chip ball, good defending there, but the big unit. Number nine, Keita of Mali. Number nine, Keita. Number two, Tore. And number four, Dembele, the playmaker for Mali. When absolutely brilliant. That's a foul. Big foul on the big unit. It's not easy to bring him down. Takes a hard knock, but now a free kick given to Mali. First minute of the game. KG start there, number 8 Faroto, number 10 Toure, number 9 Kita, and number 4 Dembele on the playing field at the moment, takes a direct shot, high and wide, not testing the goalkeeper, SP, got number 18 Aaron, number 6 Onome, number 1 SP and number 10 Mikel on the field for Nigeria. Dembele Toure and Keita have been the key for Mali in this tournament. In the previous games, they were on the field for the whole match. Nigeria on the attack now. Number 10 takes a shot. Mikel, very unlucky not to have scored there. That was a golden opportunity on his left foot. But he's hit the ball high and wide. The score stays 
zero zero. Mali now on the attack and gives the ball away there. Number eight for Otto. Very good tackle. Very good tackle from the number four Kaka of Nigeria. Kaka Onome. Mikel and Aaron on the field. A foul called from the Nigerians. Ball given back. That's a free kick given to Mali. Referee now pointing to the spot where he wants the player to be standing. PMU Mali, number eight for Otto on the right. Takes a shot. Very good football there. Not good execution. Ball goes back to the goalkeeper. And again, goes forward and then back to the goalkeeper of Mali. Koliboli, number one, the captain. It's been very exciting football so far. KG football. There hasn't been a goal scored yet. Number four, Dembele. Number nine, Keita. Number ten, Toure on the field. That man there, Toure and Keita doing really well. Number ten gets a shot across. Toure. Ball hit high and wide. Dembele for Otto. Keita, Toure. The four players on the pitch. And Kaka, Onome, Mikel and Aaron, the four on the pitch for Nigeria. Foul from the back, a referee calls it. Number 10, Mikel putting pressure on his counterpart, number 10 from, Nigeria, from Mali. Five minutes into the game. We are in the plate finals here on field A, field B is hosting the main final, the pro final between Iran Rafsanjan and Saudi Saab. My co-commentators Faizan and Ahmed covering that game. And the ball now in the field of play, They're trying to get a shot across. Nobody on the right-hand side of the field to get to the ball. So this is a short free kick for Nigeria. Dembele on the floor. Gets up. Number six, Onome, tries to boot the ball down the field. Does not find a player. Number 10, Toure, and the goalkeeper, Kulibuli, playing the ball now. Keita, number nine, with the ball. Good individual skill. Very strong tackle there by Kaka of Nigeria. Not easy to bring that big unit. Number nine, Keita, down on the floor. That's brilliant defensive play. He concedes a free kick though. Nigeria versus Mali. The African Plate Cup. Number eight, Foroto over the ball. Slight protest there from Dembele. His counterpart, number four, Kaka, standing right in front of the ball. And again, he walks in, takes a shot. Wide of the goalpost. So that free kick coming for nothing. The players in this heat and humidity have put in a lot of effort. This is their third game already. Very good tackle there. Very good tackle. But the Nigerians on the ball. Kaka fouled from the back. Is he going to get it? No, that's a yellow card. And Kaka seems to be in a lot of pain. He is rolling all over the turf. Very strong, very hard tackle. He's still on the floor, wincing in pain. Looks in a lot of pain there, Kaka. He's pointing to his chest. Has the wind knocked out of him. 
the stretcher is out that was a very hard very solid tackle from Faroto number 8 who gets a yellow card as well finding it difficult to breathe at the moment Faroto Kaka beg your pardon it's good to see he's trying to get up now on his own a lot of harsh words being exchanged between the players the referees are now taking some control of the game if you would ever think this is a friendly tournament you're highly mistaken very competitive football going on at the moment and very competitive discussions going on as well between the Nigerians and Mali players as well the referees step in now both linesmen and the main referee are inside it's been a running substitution now number 18 Aaron on the pitch takes a shot the ball has been saved. Kulibuli right behind it. Boots the ball upfield. Goes straight to his counterpart, number one, SP. So the game starts again after that slight delay. Ball given away by the goalkeeper, number nine. Push from the back. They're asking for a free kick now. Kaka back on the field. And making an instant impact. lot of emotions flying around in this game between Nigeria Galacticos and PMU Mali number nine Kieta big unit not easy to bring him down Kaka pushed from the back and now free kick Faroto on top of the ball passes it but it's Toure the number 10 unable to get a clean shot Dembele and Kieta having a conversation about the plans, the tactics. We start again, number six, Onome boots the ball up front. Interesting way to stop the ball there with the head. Score still at 0-0. Could have been anyone's game. Any one of these two teams could have scored the first goal. Very good opportunities for both of them. Number 10, Toure now playing as a defender. And that's man number eight for Otto. Gives the ball away to the captain, Onomo. Number 10, Mikel. Good ball control. Keeping. He's got two players on him now. Eventually, they take the ball off him. There is asking for a foul. Onome, Mikel, and Kaka, number four, who took a strong hit, but is now back on the pitch. Nine and a half minutes played. Still 0-0 zero, zero in the air. Trying to find a Nigerian forward. Kaka tries to get a shot across. Still Kaka defending the ball. Brilliant, brilliant determination from the diminutive midfielder. Number four, Kaka of Nigeria. Mali start again. Can they build something here? Toure, Keita, Tembele. And for Otto, the four players on the pitch. Number four, Dembele. Fouls number 18, Aaron. Aaron, Kaka, Onome. And Mikel on the pitch. At the moment for Nigeria. Galacticos, foul called. Foul by Mikel, number 10. On number 10, Toure. Very aggressive game going on here. A lot of tempers flying around. Again, another foul. So, stop start game here. The referees come in again to have a quick conversation. The heat of the final and the heat from the sun taking its toll on these players. 10 minutes gone on the clock. 20 minutes of the, the plate final still to come. The score 0 0 between Mali PMU and Nigeria Galacticos quick pass there number 9 Keita with the ball Toure goes for his support and now Nigeria is on the attack one on one Nigeria number 10 Mikel brought down by his counterpart number 10 so another foul given 
It's been a very rough game so far. Aggressive game between the two teams. Number nine, Keita. Having a chat with the referee. Some sarcastic applause. He would have gotten a yellow card if this was a game from the Premiership. The referee is just a little lenient here. The World Corporate Champions Cup. Again, these are supremely fit players, but they are corporate employees of their companies, PMU and Galacticos from Nigeria. Free kick now to Nigeria. Onome, the captain, over the ball. Number 10, Mikel behind it, right in front of the goalkeeper. Takes a cross pass, gives it away. And a strong tackle there from number 18, Aaron. But if the ball is still with Nigeria, it's Kaka, number 4. Strong shot, very good save there by Koliboli, the goalkeeper. It's Aaron again with the ball. Passes it back to SP, back to Kaka. Back to Aaron from the right now, this time running in. Number 10, Mikel, and he gives the ball away to number 10 from Mali Toure, who's brought in from the back. Strong tackle again from the Nigerian. Onome, number 6. The Nigerians are not happy on that foul call. But a free kick given nonetheless. The referee under a lot of pressure in this game. Lot of pressure on the referee. Free kick. Now, to Mali. Against Nigeria. The score still 0-0. Zero, zero. 17 minutes left. We're in the last two minutes of the first half. It's hot, it's humid. They're putting water on their feet, water on their face. 12.30 in the afternoon here in Dubai. And these two teams going tooth and nail in the plate final. The Nigerian Galacticos versus Mali PMU. 16 and a half minutes to go. Cross the ball, Dembele kicks the ball high and wide. And the ref and the goalkeeper, SP, telling Aaron and Onome that they were not standing correctly. So there we have it. The first half, a KG first half between the two teams. The lot of emotions flying around. Nigeria 0. Mali Zero, we will be back after a short break for the second half of this final, the plate final between Mali PMU and Nigeria Galacticos for the World Corporate Champions Cup brought to you by FIFCO.
test, 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 test. Are we good in the, like, on the square, or we have to move? I don't think it should be good. Square, or we have to move? I don't think it should be good. Nigeria Galactico Zero. <laughs> this is not gonna start. Hello everyone and welcome to the third edition of the World's Corporate Champions Cup. We are right now here in the third day in the final, but guess what? We are here with the president of the FIFCO, that is the International Federation of Corporate Football, Albert Esbeli, the man. How are you today? Great, great. Feeling great. Welcome to Dubai. Thank you. Happy to be here. I would like to know, first of all, how has been the experience of being here in the World's Corporate Champions Cup? This has been a fantastic experience. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, players are enjoying themselves. It's a great atmosphere. You can hear the crowd cheering. You can hear the players really getting involved. Dubai has been a great host. This is really a fantastic event, especially in the, in the context of where we are. How do you handle to manage the logistic with 16 different countries from all different parts around the world? Logistics is all a question of staff. It's all a question of support. It's all a question of the local organization. Dubai Sports Council and as well as Dubai Tourism has been a great help for us. They've been here at every step of the way to make sure that everyone uh, is able to get here on time, get here uh, into Dubai. I mean, logistically, it's always tough, but we managed. Now, um, in this case, we're talking about that there are 16 different countries. Do you work together with someone to organize this event? Bahi, our local organizer who runs the uh, High Five events, uh, has been doing this for the past 15 years here in Dubai. So he is already an expert. He already knows uh, what to do, how to do it. So we basically relied on his, uh, his expertise. And then organizing all the, all the different countries comes from our country members. Country members are always getting involved, participating, and are always there to, to, to show up to the next events. Now, since this is the third edition, comparing with the other ones, what were the expectations for you guys for this event? Every single year we get better and better, and that's the, that's the, big, the big objective. We started this in 2018, we started moving forward into Monaco 2019, and now we're here in Dubai for 2021. It's only going to get better from here. Amazing. Thank you very much, Albert, and thank you very much for you guys. We'll stay tuned. Well, we have seen the first red card of this game. Dembele, who was already on a yellow, gets a second yellow card. And now, interesting, Mali down to four men. They are a goal up, 10 minutes left to play. And the Nigerian goalkeeper now playing as a forward. No pressure here on the Mali side. Big part, no pressure on the Nigerians now with the striker up front. The tactics that they were using, the Mali side with Kane, the goal scorer. Last 10 minutes, can they hold on to this lead? Being a man down in the final, the plate final of the World Corporate Champions Cup. One goal down, the Nigerian Galacticos, but they are a man up. A red card in the final. We have seen that before in a lot of professional games. Being a man down makes a huge impact. There seems to be some arguments going on about the player that was removed. The organizers are having a conversation with the referees. The game starts again. One of the organizers, Albert, was being interviewed during the match. And now, tempers flying on the sidelines as well. This is a high intensity, high octane game going on. A lot of heat on the ground, a lot of heat outside the ground.
There was some confusion about whether the players would be substituted, but no, that's a red card. So they're down three men on the field, one in the goalkeeper, four in total instead of the five. Kaka, number four, and number nine, Keita, now going head to head. The referees have to take some control of this game. It's a heated match going on between Mali and Nigeria. Even on the sidelines, the support staff, everybody getting involved. Lot of action here. And Mali still trying to build something with three men on the pitch. A big shot taken by Onome. The goal not tested. The ball goes out. Some smart tactics by the goalkeeper now trying to waste as much time as possible. There's still eight minutes left in this game. The final, the plate final between Nigeria and Mali. Quick, Quick throw, throw taken. taken. Number eight for Otto. And the, the goalkeeper, goalkeeper kicks, kicks it out high and wide. We're going to see some time-wasting tactics definitely from Mali. Number 18 now for Nigeria, Aaron. Number 5 takes a shot. Big shot there by Rash of Nigeria. Corner kick. Beg your pardon, that's a short free kick now for Mali. Pump the ball upfield. Trying to find number nine, number nine Keita. The match hangs in a balance. 1-0 Mali, but Mali is now a man down. Nigerian goalkeeper SP, the captain as well. Emotional guy. He's been pushing his team. Mali now trying a counter attack. Three against two. Number four, Kaka takes a shot. Good save there by Koliboli. Number one of, of Mali and again trying to counter attack. That one man shot hurting them a lot. The Mali side. They've had to remove Kane, the striker, to bring in defensive players. 8, 9, 10 on the field. That was a bad foul. Bad foul there by the Nigerian. Just pulls his shirt back. And rightly so, the referee walks up. He saw everything. A yellow card given to number 5 of Nigeria. A rash of Nigeria pulling the player back. It's extremely hot and humid outside. And you can see that the Mali player bleeding from the mouth. That foul very hard on number 10, Toure. This has been a very emotional, very aggressive game between the two teams. Lots of fouls. A red card. I think the first red card of this tournament. Good to see now. Tore getting up on his feet. Number 10, Mikel of Nigeria in front of his counterpart, number 10. The ball goes out for a short free kick. Five minutes on the clock. Can Mali hold on to that 1-0 lead? That is the question with one man down. Makes a huge difference when you have a player short. Takes a direct kick. Hits a Nigerian player. And again, a push on the number 10. Their heads have collided. Number 10, Mikel on the floor. But Mali continues. Number 6 takes a shot. Onome trying to test the goalkeeper. And have a look at that. The Nigerian bench on their feet. Very, very emotional side, this. Very emotional game going on as well. Number one, Koliboli now. Number 10, Toure, pumps the ball upfield. Every second that runs down is important for Mali. If you've just tuned in, Mali 1-0 up, but a man down. Kak, 
Dembele, I beg your pardon, getting a yellow card, a red card. Ball going out now for a goal kick. And again, that man, number three, Lan Lanre of Nigeria, shouting at his players from outside. They have not been able to take advantage of an extra man. From the left now, number 10, Toure, runs it down all the way to the end. And Nigeria get a short free kick. They take one quickly. It's through the goalkeeper, SP, trying to build something from the back. Onome now with the ball. Number four, Kaka, plays it back to Onome. Back to Kaka. Kaka tries something here. Shot on goal. But Koli Boli is behind it. Not able to gather cleanly, but nonetheless stops the ball from going into the back of the net. Again, very good footwork there by Foroto and brought down by number 18, Aaron. SP now with the ball. Passes it to Onome. Onome walking in slowly. Gives it to the goalkeeper who's playing as a right winger. Number four, Kaka. Four, number 18, Aaron. Aaron to number 10, Mikel. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can. Mikel, number 10 for Nigeria. One arrow to number 10. Mikel, can you finish it off? Yes, he goal. can. With three minutes Mikel, left on the clock. Number Mali, 10. a man down, are now tied with Nigeria Galacticos. The score, 1-1. One, one. Three minutes left on the clock. Nigeria have finally pulled it back. They've been testing the goalkeeper since the start. After one man down, takes a shot there. Keta, intelligent, trying to catch them off guard. Mali is going to ha struggle a lot now. If they can tie this game, the game goes straight to penalties. Maybe that is their best opportunity now. It's very difficult to score a field goal with you on a man down. Onome tries a shot. The ball goes over the goal post. 1-1. One, one. Two minutes left on the clock. Mali, one. Nigeria, one. Mali, a man down. Everything happening in this plate final between the two African nations. Nigeria's Galacticos versus the PMU from Mali. Shot taken. Kuliboli, the captain, saves again. He's been brilliant behind the sticks. One and a half minute left on the clock. The Nigerians on the sidelines giving instructions. Reminds me of the Portugal versus France World Euro Cup final that happened. Shot on target from the goalkeeper. SP playing like a striker and hits the goal post. That was very close. There are four people in the field at the moment. Trying to, and there's a, there's a chance. The goalkeeper hits it straight. Kolibuli hits the ball up front. Off target complete. There was nobody in the Nigerian goal post. If that would have been on target... Mali would have sneaked through with an amazing win. But the Nigerian goalkeeper playing like the striker catch two opportunities but does not get the ball into the back of the net. The last minute of game going on at the moment. Aaron, Aaron, Onome, Onome back to Aaron. Back to Onome trying to build something from here. Aaron gives the ball away to number 10, the goal scorer, Mikel. Who gives the ball back now? It's that number nine, Keita. He's been magnificent today for Mali. He's been magnificent through the whole tournament. Number nine, number ten, Keita and Tore. Last 30 seconds. 1 1. The scoreline Nigeria Galacticos 1. Mali PMU 1. 20 seconds left. Can they run down the clock? Will it, goes into, will it go into penalties? We'll have to see what the officials have to say. Will we have extra time? Nigeria, on the other hand, will want to win this game in the main field. They've had the one-man advantage but didn't make it count. Aaron, now with the ball. Aaron passes it to number four, Kaka. Takes a shot. Saved there by Koliwali. The score... Stays 1-1. One, one. The ball still with Mali. Can they get that extra shot? A foul. That has been the story of this game. Number 18, Aaron saying that the man dived. 
the referee explaining to him that there was a push from the back. So the score stays at 1-1. One, one, Galacticos, one, Mali, one, 10 seconds left on the clock, Mali takes a hit, that's a poor shot, poor shot there, and Mali might have messed up their tactics just a little bit, they had Kane up front, number 11, the big burly striker, who got the goal for them, but as soon as they were a man down, they had to pull him out, and bring the three players, the three best players that they have, Foroto, Kita and Ture on the pitch, there you see now number three, Diyama gets a game, gets some time. Can there be a goal? Yes, it is. Believe it or not, can you believe it? A man down, Mali. One man down. The can there be a goal? Yes, it is. And it's believe it or not, can you believe it? A man the tournament scores an amazing winner, PMU Mali. Can you believe it? With a man down, now two goals to the good. Mali 2, Nigeria Galacticos 1. We were in the last 10 seconds of the game. And Mali have scored an unbelievable, miraculous winner. That man, number 9, Keita. Can you believe it? The goalpost was empty for some reason. SP was not at his goalpost. He was playing like a forward, like a midfielder at that time. They wanted him to be the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he wasn't. The game going on again now. 2-1 the score. I beg your pardon for the viewers. This is game in extra time at the moment. The goalkeeper tests him. Can this be a goal? No. Can you believe it? They have missed two opportunities. SP and Aaron both have missed a golden opportunity to equalize for Nigeria. Unbelievable football there. SP with his shot hits the goalkeeper. The ball comes back into play. It was that man, Mikel, the goal scorer again. And he was unable to get a shot on target. Nigeria should have equalized there. They should have been 2-2. But it's Mali who are holding on now to that one goal lead. Chipped in the air. It's that man SP again. The goalkeeper. He is definitely playing like a forward right now. He has forgotten that he's got the gloves on. He was missing when Keita scored that goal. Again booted up. And Mali have won the plate championship final can you believe it a man down they have scored the winner in the last minutes of the game and have beaten nigeria 2-1 unbelievable football there number nine keita that man number nine number nine keita scoring the winning goal and Mali PMU, the World Corporate Champions Plate Cup Final Winners, FIFCO brought to you in Dubai 2021 at the La Liga Academy. Have a look at that. Scenes, absolute scenes. Even the UAE Shaloub group players are celebrating with them. Everyone celebrating. That was a brilliant win. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you for tuning in with us for this World Cup. Corporate Champions Cup, absolute scenes. We'll leave you with that. It's been an absolute pleasure. Good afternoon.
what? We have Miss Reba here, which is the man, the local organizer. How are you today? I'm really great. The final just ended and everyone seems to have had a good time. And uh, it was a really good and close match. That was amazing. It was very tight. But at the same time, I would like to know how's the experience of organizing this event, but you from here with Albert, that he talked already with us all the way from Montreal, Canada. It's really been a long journey. We started discussing the possibility of getting this event to Dubai like three years ago. Unfortunately, COVID hit and we had to postpone it a couple of times. But I'm really, really happy that we were able to manage it and bring all these teams to Dubai and, uh, you know, get into the events again. Now, how hard was the logistic of organizing all the event? Because it sounds easy, but actually it's not that easy. Organizing 60 different countries, two completely different continents. Albert is in Canada. You are here in Dubai. So how was that? It's not that easy. We had a lot of uh, Zoom sessions, a lot of coordination. But, I mean, we clicked as a team. And uh, this is what we do. I mean, the, logistic part, the logistics part is difficult sometimes it has its problems but you know we're just glad we, we're able to pull it off so um can we say that the expectations that you guys had from the beginning were covered at the end or they were higher than that i mean honestly just being able to hold the event in spite of the COVID situation and the restrictions in a lot of countries this is a great achievement for us so we're quite happy amazing by here this event was magnificent it was perfect very well organized thank you very much for everyone some words that you would like to say for the audience that we have right now thank you and hope uh, you continue following us and hope these teams and more will still come back uh, for the next editions so stay tuned for the next edition and the next year for the world's corporate champions cup thank you thank you <laughs> oh my What Oh I need Black Black We 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 Voilà oui c'est parfait ici avec l'équipe de Mali, Woo! du Mali et Mali, allô, ça va bien Ça va bien, merci, ça se voit. Mais comment est-ce que tu te sens que tu gardes ces, ces lire, ces... comment est-ce que tu te sens On se sent extrêmement fier d'avoir représenté notre pays, c'était quelque chose de très grand en fait, de remporter un trophée pour un pays qui a tous les problèmes du monde actuellement avec le terrorisme et tout on a représenté dignement le pays dignement et je suis fier des gars c'est tout et pour souffle merci 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 et pour vous comment est-ce que tu te sens maintenant que votre équipe c'est les que votre équipe gagne on se sent on est très fier d'aujourd'hui on représente la l'entreprise le PMI Mali et puis on représente le Mali et nous représentons l'Afrique. On est très fiers d'être ici et remporter un trophée.
et on pourra les ramener jusqu'au Mali. Magnifique, et pousse du flanc et vive l'Afrique. Merci, merci, merci pour tout et vive, vive la compétition. Vive la compétition, merci, merci à vous. right now while they're waiting for the back with one of our favorite teams of the league Ireland this beautiful flag that you guys see here you guys were super close to the final what happened uh, I'm gonna let Pascal answer this and you think he'll word it better yeah listen it was a tough game um, look our sacred Ronan Keaton said life's a roller coaster you just gotta ride it <laughs> and uh, we did we rode it and it didn't work out for us these things happen you know chin up you know chin up we're good we're all good that's amazing. I just want to know if you guys are more than ready for next year to participate. Another destination? 100%. Listen, we've got Kieran Beresford. He made more runs than a celiac full of bread today. And I mean, Gav, Gav O'Keefe, he was like Stevie Wonder in a batting cage. It was strike after strike. Um, you just can't ask for more. You'd Niles kill his carts. Um, Mags, call him Gandalf, because thou shalt not pass. Amazing, thank you. But I want to ask you one more thing. Yeah. I would like to know, after all this and after all the game, how do you feel more than anything about the experience of being here with your team, with your friends, with your mates? Me? I'm just proud of my guys. What do you think, Pascal? So proud. I mean, we've, we've ran our socks off today. We bleed these colors. We bleed the green, white and orange. I feel like a weekend back in Hegel's gaff or something. I'm knackered. But um, look, it's been an experience. We're glad we were here. Dubai is beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. It's great. Life's great. Awesome. Thank you very much. And viva Irlanda. Woo! job they get out there they're in the sun they're doing game after game they didn't take a break so referees we want to give you a special medal to signify this tournament
All right, if the referees have completed their medal presentation. Now let's get into the friendly medals. So as you know, we had 16 teams from around the world participating. Eight of them went through for the finals that happened today with the quarterfinals, semis, and the finals. And the other eight got to play in a friendly representation of the teams from this region the style the play the friendliness From Nigeria, picking up the medal, that second place, runners up in the friendly medal tournament side of the tournament. So, the champions and our friends from Africa that have come from Mali, they were the winners in the friendly medals match. Mali, make your way and get your medals. Job well done. For those of you who saw the final between Nigeria and Mali, it was hard fought, it was very close, a lot of passion in wanting to win. How about a round of applause for our first, second, and third place finishers in the friendly medals match? Nigeria, Mali, UAE, Talu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for. 16 teams from around the world have traveled to beautiful UAE and into Dubai to play in the 2021 World Corporate Champions Cup. Our what, third place finishers and participants every year since this World Champions Cup started, all the way from the other side of the pond, Ireland. So Ireland has participated in 2018 in Montreal. 
We had a qualifying team that came to 2019 in Monaco, and we're blessed that they made the travels here post-pandemic all the way to beautiful Dubai for the third edition. All right, first place finishing in 2021, first place finishing stop here at the Dubai Sports City, Ireland.
Our bronze medal winners for the 2021 Corporate Champions Cup. Three time participants, all three years they traveled over and it was so fun to be around. Excellent play, gentlemen. You gotta do the jig and you gotta do the river dance. How about let's go play some Irish music? Little Hoover Dance. From the top of Ireland, in the main card, we are our third place winners. And three time participants in all the Copa World Cup. 2018, 2019, and 2021. All right, our finals today, if you're watching this, this is an unbelievable match. We have two teams that were fighting right to the end. And we'd like to welcome our runners up in the 2021 Corporate Champions Cup, Saudi Arabia Saab. Anyone who watched the brand of football that Saudi Arabia was playing throughout the whole tournament would agree it's phenomenal. The Middle East talent pool is just unbelievable and with the World Cup qualifiers coming up, look for them to do well. in Monaco. They have played hard. They have taken it serious. They have had qualifiers in their home country. And this is the best that came out of their big BC tournament. Let's welcome to the stage and our 2021 Corporate Champions Cup winners, Iran! Iran champion! So congratulations to all our participants from all the 16 participating teams. Our best going to the tournament from Morocco and Golden Glove winner, Sadek, and Golden Boot winner was Michelle from Nigeria with eight goals. Our best team spirit award went to Monaco, although I'd like to give a special mention to Swiss. They didn't win a game, but they were the nicest participants in this tournament. And down. Uh, our most valuable player went to Amal from Saudi Arabia. Saab. And our referee did an excellent job today. Thank you all for having my talent from different parts of the world. Correction, the car has nine, and you put the record! Oh, 
Well, referee Ron Levin, thank you very much. Our friendly championship round actually had three teams that were amazing throughout the whole tournament. We know that we had our runners up in first place, UAE Talib. We had Nigeria that was in second place. And Mali, who was the champion of the first eight in the qualifiers. Which is why everyone's coming in. We had Ireland in third place, Saudi Arabia Saab in second place, and Iran as the defending champion in 2019 and 2021 winners. Congratulations, everybody! You know, we really need to thank a couple people, and Albert will probably do when he gets up here. Albert? You know, this facility was unbelievable. The staff were amazing, so professional. Round of applause for the Dyport City and this facility here where the soccer fields are, or football, as you like to call it. So ladies and gentlemen, none of this would be possible with our organizing crew here in the UAE and on the ground in Dubai. We also know that Cisco has worked very hard and tirelessly to make sure this event was successful. You know, in a post-pandemic time, it's been very tough to recruit teams or get people to travel. And what an amazing job for it to happen here in Dubai. So we're going to have a couple of speakers. We're going to have Albert, the president of Cisco, and...